<laughs> increasingly in our culture, you can't even preach hardly on any part of the Bible without being offensive. Yeah. And, and, and so I suppose that's what you're getting at in terms of saying we've got to be prepared to, to I suppose, suffer. I mean, it, 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 we suffer nothing in comparison with many people are being literally beaten up mm-hmm. uh, in many countries. And I know pastors who have been beaten up, have been arrested, have been imprisoned for doing that. But that is a foreign thing to, to, to our culture. It's a foreign thing to to this nation. But but not really. I mean, you go back far enough. I mean, our church, the, the original church that our church yes. stemmed from was formed in the 1680s, in the, what was known as the killing times. That's right. When you could be arrested, you could even be put to death for refusing to jump through the certain hoops that the government, the government approved version of Christianity. That's absolutely true. But we, we're coming perilously closely back to that. We are, we are, but definitely coming perilously close to that. And, you know, we do have to be careful not to suffer because we have done evil things. The yeah. Bible warns us of that, yeah. okay? But suffer for righteousness, not yeah. because yeah. you're stupid or you're doing evil things, however yeah. you want to put that. But but the truth is, is that our the general culture around us has now become so antagonistic toward the true gospel, not toward the weaknesses of Christians, but the yeah. true gospel yeah. message. They're so antagonistic now that it's almost impossible to avoid the conflict, the opposition, without compromising the truth. Mm-hmm. We cannot run from what the world is doing. We cannot. Mm-hmm. Because when we do, at the very least, not only do they turn themselves away from the salvation that's being offered to them in Christ, which that itself is tragic enough, but we are condemning our children to be ruined by them. This is the thing. We can, it will not be safe for us if we play it safe. Mm-hmm. It will not be safe for our children if we play it safe. Mm-hmm. And our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren, you can count on that. Somebody has to be willing, just like in the days of World War II, somebody had, be willing, had to be willing to go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Okay? And they did that not for themselves. They did that for their children. Mm-hmm. We know that. And this is an attitude, however, that this the generation now has lost. That my life is worth lying, laying down my life is worth it for the sake of the next generation of Scotland. Mm-hmm. What does Scotland need more than a faithful witness? What does Scotland need more than for the resistance of the horrific, flagrant evil that has now captured your country? And it has, like mine. Uh, so that we could honestly say to each other, our countries are now pagan countries rather than Christian countries. Um, Well, what else do you need to make you be willing to get on the boat and go to Normandy Mm -hmm. and lay your life down for them? 